we have children here, and this has gone beyond. Yes, it has gone beyond. Allowing people to sleep on the front door of their schools has gone beyond. Making their teachers clean feces off the front door of their schools has gone beyond. When will we stand up for the children in our community? Vista begins enforcing its homeless encampment ban. Last night, the city council passed a resolution to return to enforcing this ban that was put in place decades ago. The mayor, uh, John Franklin, tells me that he has directed deputies to begin enforcing this encampment ban today. Now, this is uh, a complicated issue uh, for a lot of people. Uh, last night, there were some heated moments during the council me meeting. Uh, here's one exchange between the mayor and council member Karina Contreras. Ask any deputy. Ask any of the people that live in these encampments. Rape is a constant, and it should not be I'd like tolerant. to make a point of order. We I'm have speaking. a lot of children here. Yes, and we need to protect those children. Okay, this let's go for the vote. we need to take vote. action and not allow people to sleep in our parks. Please don't interrupt other speakers of the council. Please maintain decorum. Point of order. What's your point of order? That we have children here, and this has gone beyond. Yes, it has gone beyond. Allowing people to sleep on the front door of their schools has gone beyond. Making their teachers clean feces off the front door of their schools has gone beyond. When will we stand up for the children in our community? You think you're the only one that can? And at one point, you see Councilmember Contreras get up and leave. She returns but abstains from voting. So the measure passed with four votes. Now, I reached out to her for comment. I'm still waiting to hear back. So Vista is the latest city in the county to enforce an encampment ban. The mayor says uh, there are 170 people living on the streets here. He says uh, he knows many of them by name. And what's frustrating, he says 94% of them refuse to get help. And so he believes jail time has to be on the table. We don't want to find people that don't have any money. We don't want to impose criminal records on people and make it harder for them to get housing and jobs. What we do want to do, critically, is we want to bring them into this building behind me, sit them down across the table from a city prosecutor, and we want to ask them to voluntarily accept treatment. And Mayor Franklin says he will be going out with deputies tomorrow as they clear some of these encampments.